Um, a lot of classic horror franchises have been getting the green light to do prequels. And so far, the prequels have been pretty good. You know, one of the prequels that got that they did was uh, at Hulu with the Predator franchise series. They did a prequel to that, which was actually pretty good called Prey. If you haven't seen that, I recommend that you do. You won't be disappointed. They also did a uh, reboot or remake of the Hellraiser uh, series, which was actually pretty good. So check that out. Both of those are at Hulu. And then I also uh, did a video a couple of videos back about uh, A24 is going to be doing a prequel series to the Friday the 13th franchise that's going to be on Peacock. Now, Pennywise the Dancing Clown is getting his own prequel series that's going to be on HBO Max. So let me say that again. Pennywise is getting his own prequel series coming to HBO Max. Now, before I give you all my details about how I feel about this, let me give you the details about what the article says. According to Collider, it says, it prequel series, Welcome to Dairy, in development at HBO with Andy Machete and Jason Fuchs. Get ready to travel back to Dairy. HBO Max and Warner Brothers have announced that development of an it prequel series titled Welcome to Dairy Andy Machete, the director of the two films in 17 and 19, will return to executive produce the series along with his sister, Barbara, and Jason Fuchs. Also returning to the Stephen King material as both writer and executive producer with the series expected to include the organs of Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Aside from Pennywise Oregon, the series is expected to cover the history of the town in the 1960s leading up to the events of It Part One. It's not clear if any of the cast will return. Scar Scar will be the most likely, and it will be interesting to see how Machete and company adapt the material from both films and King's original novel. If Warner Brothers picks up the series, Machete is expected to direct the pilot. The writer's room for the program is currently open. Now, let me give y'all my thoughts about this. I don't see any reason why um, it would not pick the series up. They would be a damn fool not to pick this series up. Because for one, they got all the weapons that they need in place to make sure that this series works. You got uh, Machete and his sister and Jason that's already coming aboard the project. Which means is that they've already proven that they can make great product and great films from what the first two films did. So do I think that they're going to have these films just go out and be garbage in this series? No, that's not going to happen. You know, and not only that, but because they work with Bill Skarsgård on both of the films, I'm pretty sure that he's going to be like, hey, if they're not coming back to do the series, then I'm not going to do it. I can see that happening. Because so far, they've worked with each other on these two films. They develop a good relationship. They see the magic that they did with these two films. So I don't see why you would want to break that up and not keep that going. That's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is that Pennywise is one of those characters that everybody was afraid of when you saw the first It. If you wasn't, even if you saw the last two movies, he's just one of those characters that he puts that fear, he puts that suspense, you know. So if you wasn't afraid of clowns before, when Pennywise came out, he definitely made you afraid of clowns. Okay. And now for us to get the prequel about him, which is really going to be interesting and catch a lot of folks' attention because a lot of people, including myself, is going to want to know the history of Pennywise. You know, saying, okay, who is Pennywise? Where did he come from? Was he human? Is he an alien? Uh, how did he get to where he, uh, who he is? Why, did he does, why does he attack the children? What's going on? You know, so on and so forth. So that right there, that story right there is definitely going to sell a lot of people and sell a lot of um, a lot of fans to check out the series. The second thing is that they're saying also they're going to focus on the town of Derry. Now, if you guys watch a lot of horror movies, they always say that these towns have these secrets that 
they don't want anybody to know about because when you do find out these secrets that uh go on these little towns that that's when weird shit starts to happen to people who go around being nosy so connecting i'm pretty sure there's going to be a connection with the town and pennywise that's going to make that combination work to find out or well, i would say find out but to explore the organs of the town and pennywise to how to get to the point where the kids came up missing while everybody in the town not so much as the not so much as the parents but the kids why they're so afraid of him so just exploring that organ story by itself is definitely going to draw people in you know and then the other thing is that you know with warner brother discovery you know how they've been uh axing a lot of projects they've been dumping a lot of projects not just film but um on a streaming service because we know recently a lot of us uh shows that was on hbo max they got rid of them they either canceled them or they shopped them around to other networks because they were saying that they got plans for hbo max and all these great things they're going to do for the streaming service well i would think that you would want to put this show on a streaming service since you're saying that all this great uh productions and things that you're going to be presenting to the fans on the streaming service that this will definitely be one of those shows that you want to put on there along with um euphoria and the peacemaker and a lot of other uh projects that i know they had over there before that was big hits so i'm hoping that hbo makes the right decision and keep this show over there because if they don't it will not be a good look for them it will not be a good thing for them especially since they already proven that they can make the magic happen you know but once again you know we've seen how hbo makes these hbo warner brother discovery make these decisions some was good some was bad so we can just keep our fingers crossed that they're going to keep the show over there you know but overall i'm definitely excited about this series uh, I can't wait to they uh, start giving us more information about it. But just um, from what they're saying so far, it's definitely an eye catcher. They definitely got my uh, they definitely got my attention. They're gonna uh, pretty sure they're gonna get other folks' attention to want to tune into this series whenever it gets to the point of green lighting. But we already know that HBO is gonna green light this series, so. I'm going to I'm just going to put it out in the air. They're going to green light this series. OK, they're going to green light it, you know, so you all let me know your thoughts about this. Pennywise is getting his own prequel series that's going to be going to HBO Max. Let me know y'all thoughts about it down below. And until then, I'll let your boy.